Hi, welcome to 1006th way of learning API testing. So in this video, we will try to figure out how to work on the get methods that are available within the pet table. So I go ahead, start op opening it. So I just clicked on it. So as usual, if you see, it will give you a brief descrip description about like what this get request is uh, trying to do. And you will see the query parameters. Um, and the response sample like what are the possibilities of the code that you may get okay so if you see these responses so as usual you will always have 200 which is successful and here you have one more which is 400 now we'll go ahead click on try it out now when i give try it out if you see this status particular query parameter called status it is an array of string which means it will have multiple string values okay you are supposed to choose one among it so that is what array of string means so if you you are supposed to click and select one you cannot add any data by yourself because this is not a text field now this is the uh, one of the way of selecting query parameters and because of this reason it will be no, I think it's like there is no chance that you get this 400 because 400 you will receive only if you give an invalid status value. But all these status are valid and you are supposed to select only one of these status. So uh, the possibility of getting a 400 is almost zero. So we will uh, try to select one of the status. Let me give uh, available and click on execute. So when I click on execute, uh, the curl response is uh, uh, the curl statements. Here, if you see, there is only one header to the request. And then you see the request URL. If you see, generally, when it is a get API request, so apart from the existing URL, if you see the URL here is pet2.swagger.io, and then here we are giving version to pet, pet is the table, and then find by status, it's the query, okay? Uh, so maybe the attribute, okay? And then the query is the status, and then what is the value that you are giving so this is generally how your api uh, endpoint url will be built okay now with this you uh, i'm just looking into the response if you see you are getting multiple data okay so multiple pets with the status as available okay if you see the status it should always be available this is what we are supposed to validate you cannot get any other status other than available if you see there are multiple things it's a very long list there are multiple things that are available but only thing is all the status should be in available string so for now we just give one for pending okay so execute it again so if i run it if you see this is a very small list so you can easily validate so if you see the status is pending so this is one dog and uh, similarly, all the data which the status is pending is what we are going to see here. Okay, so this how I can so this is your actual result. So expected result generally, I will try to get the access to the database and see whether the number of count of these two things are actually matching. The values are also same. This is how I validate the API. All right, again, we know like 400 is not possible because we will not be able to select any other status. So we will stop this one here. You can also use the clear button when you use clear. So from the first, you can start it. Okay. Now we will go ahead and try uh, the one more. Okay, we will come to authorization later. It opened because I click on this uh, no lock symbol. Close it. Now I try to open this one one more uh, get where instead of getting finding the pets by status we are trying to find the pet using the pet id which means every pet is given a valid id and based on this id we are trying to get the responses from the table so in this case as usual you will have a, a description about this get api and then what are the parameters that are uh, available uh, to filter the values and then if you see run it one more already so i'll clear it so that you can see okay i just cleared it so if you see the responses generally it's 200 it will always be there for success 400 is invalid so generally here also you cannot give an invalid value i'll tell you why and then 4 404 is pet not found which means you are giving an incorrect pet value which means this particular pet id is not available in the database so that is when you will get the 404 status 
in this particular get request. So let's say I'm giving the pet ID as two and clicking on execute. So when I execute, as usual in the response, you'll get the curl commands and then you're getting the request URL. Okay, now if you see the response, it is telling this particular uh, no pet ID is not valid, which means like in the database, there is no pet with ID as two. So it, it is responding the response body as code is one, type is error, message is pet not found, and the status code is 400. If you go into your database and check if there is no pet with the pet ID 2, then your uh, validation is successful. Okay. Uh, I'll try to give one more save one. Now I'll try to execute. So now, so there is a valid data with the ID as one. So now I'm able to get, okay. So now I see the response code as 200 along with the data for this particular pet. So these are the two possibilities. 400 is completely invalid. Why I tell you? Because say, let's say, if you want to give an invalid uh, ID, say I'm giving uh, a character or string value or special characters, then here itself I'll be stopped, right? So it will tell me you can give only integers. You cannot give an invalid value for the pet ID other than integers. So that is the reason. I am uh, considering that four not, uh, four, 400 is not a possibility to get as a status quo. So these are the different things uh, that you can validate when you are given a get request to validate within Swagger. All right, we will end it here and we will look into the other post, put and delete methods in the coming videos. Thank you.